Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 144. I had to re-record this because I forgot to turn the mic on and I was talking the entire time recording and not realize it was not capturing my voice. So I want to jump off a clip because I recorded several webtoons and now I have to re-record them. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Crystal left for Comshire. She was the one who kicked off this chain of events. And we were able to finish her off thanks to Grand Duke Kaufman. However, the fact remains that Henry's reputation was nearly damaged beyond repair in the process. If I think about what might have happened... My queen, did I keep you waiting? <laughs> I rushed over here to see you after hearing that you finished work before me. Uh-uh. She's hugging him. You're mine. You're not angry anymore? Oh. Mm. My queen, sometimes I feel like you're a mischievous goddess, reveling into the knowledge that I am unable to resist you no matter what. The high priest would surely storm over to tear up our marriage certificate if he were to hear that. Blasphemy! <laughs> you never cease to entertain me, my queen. You said I was yours, right? Are you ready to let me in? What kind of in? <laughs> the Remarried Empress, episode 144. If I allowed myself to be drawn in just a little closer to the love that he's offering me, I know I'll find myself helplessly attached to him. Even though... Uh, uh, I am certain that what awaits me in the end is an agonizing and bitter hell. I had yet to give my Henry give Henry my answer when my parents finally arrived. I'm sorry that I could not welcome you under better circumstances. It is our fault uh, for delaying our visit. I'm sorry that we couldn't come sooner. There's no need to apologize. I heard from Nibira that you would prefer to send some quality spend some quality time together after the guests have left. Don't worry about it, and make yourselves at home. Uh-uh. Speaking of which, what do you wish to discuss with me in private? I'm sure Nabier will want to know. Uh, uh With all due respect to your impure position, we have a request to make about your marriage as your in-laws. As you can see from what happened in the Eastern Empire, all it takes is for one person in the relationship to start having second thoughts, for a marriage to become difficult or eventually let, lead to a divorce. A couple in a happy marriage might even end up on the verge of splitting up due to external factors. That's why we hope that you will be benevolent and work to maintain a good relationship with Navier, even if she falls short of her, your expectations at times. Uh, does this mean <laughs> they have finally accepted me as their son-in-law? Of course I will. I'm sure you are worried for her because she's already been through some difficulties. However, I love my wife. Huh? Uh? Though it is a one-sided love, to be precise. You have nothing to worry about. What do you talk about with my parents? They wouldn't tell me even though I asked. She spent some time catching up with her parents after they spoke to Henry. It's a secret. Ah! Oh. Do you really intend to keep your conversation with, with my parents a secret from me? Huh? <clears throat> I'm also loyal to my in-laws. Oh. Hmm. We didn't talk about you behind your back or anything. Please don't give me that look. Is he being petty because I didn't respond to his confession? However, 
If Henry stops feeling this way about me in the future, the heartbreak will be more, much more painful than it was with Sovatiu. I can't stake everything on an uncertain future, so it's best to keep this distance between us. <sighs> oh, by the way, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? May I borrow masses for a little while? Uh, Miss Masses used to be hen under Henry's direct control as one of his royal knights. Does he need her to carry out some discreet task on his behalf? Sure. Thank you. I wonder... When Lady Krista and her retinue enter the house in Compshire, I want you to seal all the doors and windows so that they can't leave. Make sure it looks like she became a recluse of her own free will. Supply her with plenty of eat, as well as her favorite foods on a daily basis. <laughs> After all, my brother's dying wish was for me to take good care of her. Why does he look so sadistic? Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, I heard Her Majesty is turning the palace upside down. The staff suspect that she's looking for something. Did you see by Count Lotatiu? Daughter tried to catch His Majesty's eyes during the Imperial Banquet the other day. <laughs> is it? It was such an obvious ploy. She must think she has a chance to be his next mistress. What with his, what's with His Majesty having chosen a commoner? Oops. Everyone's making fun of me, saying that even the no minor nobles from the province are daring to undermine me now. <laughs> what should I do? Oh dear, it's up to you to decide whether to believe the rumors or not. The truth is what's important. I can't put up with this any longer. I should hire someone to... <sighs> It'd be quite funny if I ordered Lotasia to find someone I can use. But I'll be in a bigger mess if that person told him everything before doing my bidding. It's a shame I can't go through with that idea. Um, can you put me in a contract with a mercenary? Huh? That's easily done, but may I ask why you need one? Oh, um... I must say, it's a little unreasonable to expect me to find someone for a job you can't even tell me about. <laughs> oh, I suppose that's true. In that case, okay. I'll find one myself. Mm -mm -mm. So this is my conclusion here about Henry. So in that picture where he's like telling Miss Masters of what to do, I uh, say she's you know, riding her horse all the way to Compshire is to lock up Lady Krista. And he has like this sadistic look on his face and it kind of threw me off, you know, because he had always had this innocent, sweet, bubbly personality when he's near uh, around Navier. But behind closed doors, he has this evil smile and thoughts. And now it makes me question, is he really a nice, you know, kind-hearted king or is he really an undermining like evil king or like yeah or emperor he's an emperor now it makes me question this huh and now we're dealing with rasha rasha is wanting to hire a mercenary to do her bidding i wonder what she is wanting to get done here but she's not even trusting her own friend to help her out so man her finding her own person might get her into more trouble than she thinks. So, lots more drama is gonna be brewing. So, alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!